Hello everyone, this is Della with The Beauty of Play, and I'm going over how we make our window clings. So first you start out with a series of small bottles of glue, and you color those with food coloring. So I'm taking a few drops here of food coloring to make my color and placing it into the glue bottle. And then taking a bamboo skewer to thoroughly mix the glue within the bottle. I continue to tinker with the food coloring until I get the color that I want. And these will dry transparent. So after I have achieved the color that I want, I wipe off the skewer so I don't mix my colors and then I'm sure to wipe off the top of the glue bottle so I don't glue my bottle shut. For orange, I simply use yellow and red. For brown, green and red. For the red, I usually mostly red, but I want fall color, so I added a bit of green. And then the green is just yellow and blue, and the yellow is simply yellow. Next, I'm going to prepare the Ziploc bag by cutting all the seams, essentially cutting the bag in half. Then I'm left with one half, one layer of a Ziploc bag. Now you can see that I have templates that I'm using instead of free drawing my lead lines. I've gotten these by searching fall coloring sheets online and then printing out the pictures to use for templates. I'm looking for simple templates, but also ones that allow for small spaces because in doing this project when you go to color the glue in it tends to pull and if the area is too large when the glue begins to pull it leaves gaps of spaces within the window cling so what we've found over the years is if there are smaller spaces then the glue dries more evenly and you have a better product so I'm making nice thick lines here. So the glue has plenty of area to reside within. If I make the lines too small or thin, then the glue spills over the side and doesn't stay contained within the lines, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but just not what we were going for here. And again, you can see when I'm making the veins of this oak leaf, I'm adding extra veins and going all the way to the edge so that I have these contained spaces for the glue to dry within. And this last one, I'm actually adding an extra vein. Now these are left to dry for 24 hours and you want to test them before you start coloring them in with glue. You want them to be completely dry so they shouldn't be tacky and they shouldn't stick to your fingers. When they're dry you can essentially just color them in with your colored glue. We enjoy the effect of some of the colors mixing and sometimes actually add more than one color um, in a section to see how it's going to blend. But if you have a child that doesn't enjoy this, you wanna be very careful that the glue doesn't go over the black lines. Another technique that you can use is coloring only one color at a time and waiting for 24 hours for that to dry. So after they're all colored in, you wait 24 hours You'll know they're completely dry because it's transparent and there's not any white in the leaf. And then they simply peel off and you can place them on your window. They have a beautiful stained glass effect. So this is how we make our window clings. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more or the education material that I have, you can subscribe to the channel or you can visit my website, thebeautyofplay.com. 
I have an entire blog post that has instructions on how to make these on my website that I'll link below.